Did the colonel send for me? I tell you, it's a disgrace to the army. But, General, this is exaggerated. What does Tom Kirby know about this? He's only talking. I'm talking, too. Now I want this country cleaned up. Proper. And if you can't do it, well, I'll come here and do it myself. Oh, you're always mulling me around. You've got to stop it. No wonder I'm nervous. You never used to talk that way, Jeff. Don't you love your wife anymore? Listen, Rose, I've told you a dozen times. You're my sister on this trip. You want to spoil everything? Bear with me a little while, darling. Everything will be all right. Better get back in the wagon, honey. I want to talk to Bert privately. Is everything all right? Yes. They'll take them all. Gold on delivery. How are you, Buck? Two hundred guns and ammunition. Don't let the black goose get you. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> the setting sun sees Indian arms on the moving canvas. told me you sound like a sawmill when you snore. A sawmill? <laughs> well, you listen, young'un. And I'll really give you a sawmill. Better not go in there, Miss Moore. The Colonel's on a rampage. I guess he'll see me. What do you want, Morris? Oh, how do you do, gentlemen? I thought I'd tell you about. But uh, I see you've seen it. Already. It seems to me that Tom Kirby is doing his best to undermine the confidence of our people in the government. My, my, it's foolish to think that someone is smuggling guns to the Indians. Foolish, eh? What do you know about it? Uh, why, uh, oh, uh, nothing. Then don't talk so much. Did you miss me, honey? Look, I wrote another poem today. That's fine, honey. I'll read it while I'm changing my clothes. Uncle Happy, tell me how Daddy Tom saved me from the Indians. What? <laughs> Bless your heart, child. I've told you about that 40 million times. <laughs> Howdy, Sam. Hello, Tom. What do you think of that, Pop? That's what we need, boy. Yeah. Hello, Tom. Hello, General. Hello, Colonel. Morris. I see you've been reading my story. What do you think of it? I didn't like it. What are you trying to do, cause trouble? You don't know what you're talking about anyway. How do you know I don't know what I'm talking about? It's true, isn't it? The guns are being smuggled to the Indians. The women and children are being killed all over the country. There's no secret about that, is there, Colonel? Why, what do you expect from the Indians, Brother Kirby? They don't know any better. <laughs> they know how to tommyhawk our women and children. They know how to shoot guns and kill soldiers. Am I wrong, General? You're dead right, boy. Here. Can you figure that out? It 
Looks to me, General, like someone is trying to say that tonight at sundown, a covered wagon, I take it that moving canvas means covered wagon, is bringing guns to the Indians. I'll bet that's the wagon train that's due here tomorrow morning. Why don't you search it at Snake Creek? They'll camp there tonight, sure. General, I have no right going around the country poking my nose into other people's business just because I represent the government. We've got to stop this smuggling. That's our most important job now. We can't overlook a single opportunity. We'll search the wagon train. Tom Kirby is right. Mr. Kirby isn't always right. What do you mean by that, Betty? Hello, General Custer. Well, yesterday, Tom bet me that I couldn't ride from the fork in five minutes. And I just did it in four. Betty, if you break your neck someday, or her horse's leg. You would think of my horse first. <laughs> Betty, we're going down the Snake Creek to search that wagon train for guns. I guess I'll go along with you, Colonel. I haven't anything to do. Daddy, I'll go too. Snake Creek isn't far from the ranch, then you can come home with me. Great, we'll make a party of it. I'm sorry I can't go along. I'm leaving tonight. Colonel, I'm depending on you to stop this gun smuggling. If any man could do it, you're the one. Get your feathers on. The cavalry is going to search a wagon train. several times it's none of your business. The less you know about it, the better I'll like it. Thank you. 
funniest Indian attack I ever saw. Dad, why can't shot. Mr. Maitland and his sister come with us to the ranch tonight, and then I can drive them to town in the morning? Certainly. Certainly, that's an excellent idea. Thanks, Colonel. We'd like to. Uh, we'll get some clothes. This is grand country, Miss Holliday. It was nice of you and your father to put us up last night. Well, it was a pleasure. We enjoyed having you. <laughs> I don't blame you for loving this western country. Jeff and I are going to be very happy here, aren't we? Yes, indeed. Father told me to watch for Indians as he looks for trouble. Well, I guess it's up to me to take care of both of you. <laughs> I always did want to fight a lot of Indians. <laughs> Yeah. 